Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Are we checking into the Louie Lou Live Lounge this morning? I haven't even put my nose on yet. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. Wait for a few people to check in Why I put my nose on. Eee, there we go. Good morning. How are we doing? Hmm. Hello, hi, Linz. <clears throat> oh, oh, hi, Ollie. Hey, you've caught me without my nose on. Oh, oh, hi, Martha. Martha's just having a bath. Oh, hiya, Paula. I hope you've all got your Luby Lou mug. Yeah, are we all checked in? Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> that nearly went in my coffee then. Whew. That were close, weren't it? Now that would have been comedy. <laughs> my nose in my brew. Do you know what? I did once. Um, do you know as you tip your brew like this? I did originally want um, my nose on the bottom of it. You know, watch this. Whoa, that does look awesome, doesn't it? it oh, but do you know what? Let me just, don't know what that is. Um, it would have cost me about another 20 quid a mug just to have that on the bottom. Do you think it'd be worth it though? Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it'd be worth having my nose stuck to the bottom of the brew. It nearly was. It nearly was in my brew then, my nose. I picked this nose myself. This is brand new. Do you know what? I ordered some new um, petticoats from America. It cost me like $200. And uh, they... Oh, it's wonky. They sent me a new nose. They gave me a free nose. That is what? Kindness. It's kindness, isn't it? What, what have you done recently? What's kind? Hiya, Paula. Don't look better now. Yeah, I've just stuck my nose on. My nose nearly went in my brew. And I do want my nose on the bottom of there. Just going to do it. Anyway, what have I got planned for you today? 20 top tips for 2020. 20 ways, even if, right, you only do one of these, it'll be worth it. Yeah? So... How I come to um, talk about my 20 ways for 2020, I, uh, um, <clears throat> mm, sound like you Claire Davis, um, yeah I listen to uh, lots of podcasts, lots of um, books because I, um, quite a few years ago, because this is not just for children this today, this is for children and mums and dads, yeah, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, I'm obsessed with this 20, um, <clears throat> quite a few years ago, um, I uh, started listening to lots of uh, books because I always told myself that I couldn't read. And I thought, I'm not having this. I know I can't really read and I don't really kind of find the time to read because I fall asleep soon as I read one page. I downloaded an app called Audible. So <clears throat> I start listening to lots of books. One book in particular, what I've listened to three times is How to Be Brilliant. It's fantastic, You've got Michael Heppel. So he gave me this idea to do 20, 20 ways for a better 2020 and you did it live a couple of days ago and it is very strange you know sitting here live in your live lounge yeah talking to people who i can't see it is morning bex so 20 ways i've got 20 minutes to do this so tell me if i'm rambling just say lucy you're rambling yeah so first one show up yeah you probably can't see this properly because it's probably the other way around but I can. So first one is show up. And we're all here showing up. Yeah, you've done it. Number one, done. But it's all about showing up in everything you do. Not just here, not just now. It's just about being present in the moment and show up. Yeah, cool. Have you got that one? Yeah. Next one. This is what I love, this one. This is the wheel of life. Now, not only parents can do this, children, you can do it, yeah? Pizza. Tell me if you like pizza. Do you like pizza? I love pizza. So, um, what you do, you draw yourself a pizza, yeah? And in your pizza, you have little sections. Some, you can, you can do this. Actually, do you know what? Grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper. Yeah, because this is what you've got to do. Just go and do it now. That is like showing up, doing it now, in the moment. Hi, lids. You need a pen and paper, yeah? This is educational. Because I like educating people. I want to bring in self-education. Well, it's kind of brought in, isn't it? But 
the way you learn is self-education. That is, that is why I'm sat here in a clown outfit, because I had to learn to be a clown from the age of six and how to make people happy from the age of six. And some days you don't want to be happy, do you? Yeah, well, that's fine. That's about showing up. Mm -hmm. Have you got your brew, Lydia? Have you? Mm. Costa coffee. Mm -hmm. So, pizza, tell me if I'm rambling. Each section, health, family, money, relationships, contribution, vision, career, personal development. Yeah? Eight sections to it. You give yourself a mark, an honest mark out of 10 in each one of those sections. I'll say it again. Health. So if you, if, you, if you make the most out of your health, if you train and you eat nicely and, and eat good, give yourself a 10 out of 10 for that one. Family. How close are you to your family? Because your family is very important. If you're good with your family, give yourself a mark out of 10. If you're not very good, don't give you a mark, a mark out of 10. But then this is where we improve. So money, how good are you with money? Could you save yourself by just making your own coffee in the morning rather than going to Costa Coffee? Could you save yourself three pounds a day? That is that, just the small changes, yeah? make the difference. Hi Kimberly, how's your weekend going? So, hello Louvie Lou. <laughs> I'm loving this, I'm, but I'm not, I'm not to ramble though. So if you tell me, if I'm rambling, tell me I'm rambling. Yeah, because I've only got 20 minutes to do it. So, the pizza. You're giving yourself a mark out of 10 in health, family, money, relationship, contribution. How much do you contribute to, contribute to your life, to your friends, to your family? Yeah? If you, contrib if you give yourself 110% with every contribution, give yourself a 10. If you're not very good at contributing, don't give yourself a 10. Yeah, vision. Have you got a clear vision where you what you want to be? Max, tell me what you want to be when you're older. Yeah, tell me what you want to be. It's educational, self-education this is, kids. Yeah, career, personal development. Yeah, so give yourself a 10 out of 10. For each one. You want to be a policeman? Good. Clear vision. I like it. Yeah. But, so, basically, you need this pizza to balance. So, find yourself what you're, what you're not scoring 10 out of. If, if you're not scoring 10 because you're not that very good with money, give yourself a, a three. But then, make changes each day to get to a 10. Manage your money better. Health. If you say that I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow and you don't go to the gym, well, no, that, that, that's where you've got to work at it. Right, next one. This might come and this will help with your pizza. Do it now. Yeah? So, kids, how many times your mums and dads, they'll say, go and brush your teeth. How many of you say, in a minute? Yeah, go on, tell me. Yeah? Rather than your mum and dad asking you to do it again, why don't you just do it now? Yeah, do it now. It's done. They won't mind you again then to do your teeth. Yeah, but it's same in everything in life. Yeah, I've got to do list, to do list, to do list, to do list. Yeah, and do you tick them off, or is your to do list still there the day after? Yeah, work towards doing it now. Yeah, just get it done. This is a good one. What I need to learn to relax. Now, I'm not just saying just go, all right, Lucy. Yeah, I'm all right. Are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, Lydia is a do it in a minute girl. Are you a do it in a minute girl? Yeah. Don't do it in a minute. Do it now. This morning, I didn't want to get up out of bed, but I did do it now because since seven o'clock this morning, I have been writing these for you. And Claire Davis will know last night, she probably didn't think that I could write these this morning. Yeah, but because I do it now, I get it done. Here we go. Learn to relax. So I'm talking, this is what I have had to work on for a long time. I didn't know this. I thought running around on a hamster wheel, yeah. I thought I was doing really good running around on an hamster wheel, but I wasn't. No, because eventually my body started to shake. Yes, on a motorway. Not good. Yeah, so I got myself some help. It's not the it's not the how you're gonna do it, it's the who you're gonna do it. I've learned that this morning. Yeah. 
Are you chilling now? Good. You didn't want to... No. I'm good. Just chilling. Also didn't want to get up, but I had to because you have to. Yes. But then you've also got to relax. So I found my own little way to relax. Do you know how I do this? I'm not talking about... Right, I'm just going to watch a movie and um, I'm going to relax all day. That's good. I'm not saying that's wrong. But it's finding a time to get your brain to relax. So I do this. I get up at five o'clock, yes, in the week, not at weekends. And I have half an hour to myself. I do my yoga and my meditation. This is every morning. I've been doing this now for about... 18 months and it works you've got to find 10 minutes to relax this and then you get more out of your day yeah and you get more done so find yourself 10 minutes to do some meditation and get into that relaxed mode because then when you need it in everyday life you find that because you you can go there quicker because you know how to relax do i am i making sense mate frugal fun as you know, I have a problem with the way I say things sometimes. Yeah. But make this fun. Frugal fun. Yeah. Go also help. Reading helps. Reading does help. You find what helps you. Yeah. Nobody else. Because nobody else looks after you. You've got to look after you. I feel like I'm banging this table a lot today. Anyway. Has, have, you, have you all got your, have you got your cup, Claire? Kimberly, you are right. Have you seen this? Right. You're right, Kimberly. It does need my nose on the bottom of my cup. Colouring in, it does, that does relax you. Find something what relaxes this. I get up at five during the week and I do a workout before I get ready for work. Sets me up for a nice day. Totally, 100%. I get up, five o'clock, do my meditation, write my goals for the day, write my dreams as well. Because if you put your dreams in here, then... You're one step closer to making them dreams come true. And then six o'clock, I go to the gym for an hour. Come home, I'm ready for the day. It's done. Don't have to do anything then in the evening. I'm ready for my day. I'm not talking. This is sense. I might be a clown, but you know what? I do talk a lot of sense. And it's all learned by myself. Listening, learning. Ask for what you want. Oh, I didn't get me fun frugal. Yeah, go in your cupboards today, right? Just go in your cupboards. Find things in your cupboards. You can make a meal out of them cupboards. You can make Rice Krispie cakes. Get in your cupboards today. You don't have to go out and spend £100 at Tesco's. Yeah? Get in your cupboards. Make a meal. Exactly. Correct, Amondo. Ask for what you want. Yeah? Be precise. Be honest. Be clear. And ask that world out there what you want. Do you know what I want? I want... A Lubulu Lounge, right? I've wanted it for the past five years now. And yeah, um, I, I thought I was ready kind of a few years ago. And my husband's due poo, he was right. I wasn't ready. I didn't have money in the bank. But it's not the how. If you listen, if you write down how am I going to get there, you probably might not get there because you, 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 you're going to worry about how you're going to get there, right? It's who you're going to get there. Who you're going to ask for help for? Who you concentrate on the who rather than the how? Because if you concentrate on the how, you probably won't get there because you end up worrying about the how. Yes. So ask for what you want. Be clear of what you want. Next one. Here we go. Twenty minutes to do this, and I'm rambling. Tell me if I'm rambling. Be kind. It's quite simple, isn't it? Be kind. Now you don't be kind. Well, you do be kind, but you be kind to yourself. You be kind to others, yeah? Because how can you expect people to be kind to you if you're not kind to others? It's just never going to happen, is it? It's black and white. This stuff is black and white, it is. So be kind. Do something what is a, a random act of kindness. You can do it each day. You can, might just be able to do it each week. That is how I ended up with this nose. Do you know what? I sent one of my Luby Lou dolls to Who Makes My Costumes in America, yeah? I sent them one of my Luby Lou dolls, yeah, quite probably last year or the year before. They've just sent me my petticoats, right? And they've sent me a free nose. Now, that is what I'm saying. You be kind to others and then the kindness will come back. Yeah, quite simple. Extra hour each day. Tell me, right, what would you do if you had an extra hour 
each day. We run round crazy. We do. Yeah. But just tell me, kids, tell me what you would do if you had an extra hour each day. Yeah. Because getting to this extra hour each day is by doing all this stuff what I'm telling you to do. Yeah. Relax. Get into that relaxed mode will get you an extra hour each day because you will learn you will learn to sleep everybody says that yeah sleep but i'm going to teach you how to get this extra hour each day by doing these things this one's simple drink more water max what's your mum been telling you drink more water spice it up a bit get some ice in there get some lemons in there or whatever you want grapefruit cucumber yes extra water each day more exercise i'm not talking go down to the gym no if the gym's not your thing don't do it choose what is your thing more exercise it might just mean sitting there doing some meditation it might just mean a little walk down the street for half an hour just do half an hour each day and you will feel loads better right this one laugh laugh each day now, I did an exercise, right? I did an exercise in um, at a clown workshop once, yeah? It's quite a few years ago. It's when? It was the Twin Towers. I was sat there in Bolton at a clown convention, yeah, when that happened. With Shobi Doby, yeah? We did an, a laughing exercise. And basically, you had to laugh. You, at first, I'm going to try it in a minute, right? You laugh. And then you do a fake laugh and it turns into a real laugh. It's contagious. In my shows, right, one child laughs. It could be a two-year-old. Well, it could be a group of five-year-olds laughing at Roger the Rabbit. Two-year-old doesn't understand what is going on. Because the five-year-olds are laughing, they then pick up the momentum to start laughing when they do. Yeah, crazy dance around the kitchen. Do a crazy dance around the kitchen. Get your laughing muscles going. It's it's a natural endorphin. It will make you feel better. But make sure you laugh. <laughs> Just start laughing. <laughs> that is my mum's laugh, actually. But <laughs> it is. That is my mum's laugh. Oh my word. Kathleen has the worst laugh in the world. Just and then there's the laugh is a <laughs> <laughs> That is the blast. That's the blast laugh. What about this one? <laughs> hey, oh I've got another one. I've got another one. This one's a good one. This one's the silent laugh. too much fun it then does generally right <laughs> <laughs> oh my word it does generally turn into a real laugh are you laughing let me know if you're <laughs> <laughs> i think do you ever laugh right when you're there's nothing in my brew now gutted gutted right do you do you ever when right you go to take a drink, right, and then you <laughs> Bo is laughing. Are you laughing? I've got a sweat on Bo. Oh my word, I'm having too much fun. Get them giggle muscles like <laughs> the snorting laugh. That is good. I like tell me what kind of laugh you like best. Tell me if you like the blast. Tell me if you like the blast or the Jasper is barking at your laugh. Do you like my laugh, Jasper? Cool. Oh, hi, Amy. Jasper is laughing. Oh, is, that, is that funny? That is funny. The nose on the bottom of the cup is funny. I wonder if I can glue that on there. I wonder. Hi, Amy. I'm seeing you later. Woohoo. Going for a meal. Mm. At the Worsley Courthouse. I'm just letting you know if... if oh, I need to stop doing that. And if, if, if my nose suits the bottom of my cup. Anyway, what do you want to see in my Nutley Baloo? Like, um, Amy, you've just missed the laughing contest. I'll just do it again for you. It, it's contagious. You've got to start laughing. Laughing a day will 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 sort your giggle muscles out and it make you feel <laughs> <laughs> much better if you laugh every day. So do it. 
Anyway, here we go. Count your blessings. Write down all your blessings. Everything what you are grateful for. Just write them down. Don't stop until you run out. Get about 50 of those. Count your blessings. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel grateful. And you've got to be grateful for this world we live in. Next one. I'm rambling. Sleep. This is something what I do need to work on. Sleep. It is so important for us. It, this will, will, yeah, you need this. They say eight hours a day. Who has eight hours a day? You'd so need it. I did last year. I was quite good at going to bed early. And I get, obviously, I get up at five o'clock, like I told you. And I don't know how often. I'd have to go to bed then. What time would I have to go to bed if I get up at five? I'd have to go to bed at nine o'clock. So I need to work on that. Yeah, nine o'clock, I need to go to bed and get into that relaxed mode. And don't take your phones to bed. Yeah, keep your phone away from your bed. Get up and then go on your phone. Because I know you do like to go on your phone, but that's so hard, isn't it? That's an hard one. Anyway, let you work at that. Repair rather than replace. This is quite good, actually. So rather than just chucking, I don't know, what whatever you've got broken, like uh, an iron. How are you going to fix an iron? I don't know. But... Just before you kind of throw things and put it on the skip, try and repair it first. Yeah, it makes you feel good. How good does it feel when you know you don't have to spend money because you've repaired it instead rather than just, oh, I'll just throw that. Makes you feel good. These are all things what you need to do to feel good. This is what I love. Keep learning. That is what you've do. Hi, Miles. Miles is going to be my bingo runner at Bongo Bingo. He is going to be giving you those, those Henry Hoovers, those Krispy Kreme donuts. If you've not booked, well, they're not even on sale yet. They're coming on sale tomorrow. Bingo tickets, Bongo Bingo. And I keep doing this 7th of February. Yeah, get yourselves down there. Tickets come on sale soon. Kids, you're going to win so many cool prizes. And Miles is going to be my bingo runner so he will be the one as soon as you win a prize he'll be over there miles could you wear a dicky bow yeah let me know if you don't mind wearing a bow tie and uh, jazzing up yeah we're gonna make it fun we've got all the music going for this bongo bingo it's gonna be crazy i'll let you dance on the table as well do you love bongo bingo bo get your tickets they're going to come on sale. Yeah, are you okay to do that, Miles? Oh, thank you. You look a treat in a bow tie. Not just me looking like this. You are going to look... You, I'll get Shalina to jazz you up. Keep learning. I love learning. Last year, not last year, the year before, I learned how to play a saxophone. I've never picked up a musical instrument in my life. I'm dyslexic. I can't read music. But I've learned myself to play the saxophone. It's quite easy. What, but make it fun. Choose something what you like learning. Last year, I learned how to make my magic word bracelets. I stamp away. It makes you feel happy. It, it, it inspires you each day. This is my new word for 2020 is you're having it. <clears throat> I'm running out of breath. You're having it. This this year is having it. I'm having a bongo bingo. I'm having pink and purple festival. I'm, I'm doing all sorts. This year, I want to either have my own children and adult podcast or my own children and adult, adult radio station. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. I want to keep making happiness. Edit. Quite simple. Edit. Remove the stuff that does not serve you. Remove friends what don't serve you. Remove um, things, remove uh, whatever doesn't serve you, remove it. It's a waste of energy. Sort out the mess. Right, kids, this is for you. Who has a messy cupboard? Who has messy drawers? Martha, I hope you're listening. We are going to do this this week. Yeah, sort out the mess. I said to Martha, you've got to be listening to this today. We, Martha is great at cleaning all the surfaces, but this is the same in your brain. You clear the top surface and then underneath, you're not clearing that bit out as well. To clear your mind, you've got to clear it all into that relaxed mode. Yeah, it's the same. But when you've sorted things out, let me know how that makes you feel. How does it make you feel when you sort your cupboards out? How does it make you feel when you clean your house top to bottom? How does it make you feel when you when you get all your boot work done? I said 2020, I am not going into this year with all my boot work not done. 
I had to get up earlier and earlier for about a week to get my boot work done because I wanted to go into 2020 with a clear mind. Don't be a pleaser. Don't feel like you have to please everybody. Why do we feel like we need to please everybody? You don't. Be you. Don't be anybody else. It makes you happy. Here we go. Do it with confidence. I'm getting through these quite quick now. Do it with confidence, yeah? Whatever you do, do with confidence. If I was to go, and it's in your language, it's in your way that you go, it's the way that you rock. Confidence, right? If I was to go, I'm going to have a really good day today. Right. So if you say it like that, right? You're not saying it with much confidence, are you? Do you think you're going to have a good day? I'm going to have a really good day today. You know, if you go, I am going to have a really good day today, like that, you're saying it with confidence. It's in your mannerism. It's in your style. Do things with confidence. It's much better. If somebody says to you, how are you? And then you go, uh, I'm really well. Well, no, you're not filling me full of confidence. If you go, brilliant, like that, you're filling me full of confidence. Pardon? Oh, you can bring the books in now if you want, Betsy. This is how I got on to... It's the how. It's the who, not the how. Why do I keep banging? It's the who, not the how. So I want, basically... Bev, I might need your help. I need some of your money from Santander. <laughs> I want a Loobaloo Lounge, right? I want people to come and have a party in the Loobaloo Lounge. Hi, Bet. Betsy's brought me these books. So it's it's it rhymes, doesn't it? Cat in the hat. Green eggs and ham, yeah? Hop on pop. So I'm saying it's the who, not the how. Don't worry about the how. It's the who. How? No, you start worrying. I go, oh, how am I going to get to my Louie Lou lounge? I've not got 60 grand in the bank. I've, I've not got this. I've not got... If you just do these little things, the who's instead of the how's, yes, you're more likely to get there. I know I will get there to my Loobaloo Lounge. I want you to come into my Loobaloo Lounge. We have fun. Thank you, Betsy. You're welcome. Oh, do you want to give everybody a wave? Because we've nearly done now. Nearly got to go because I've got a party to go to. Mm -hmm. I've got um, a birthday party and a christening today. Betsy is modelling the Marnie Mae P um, dressing gown. It's very nice. It's got a BW on here. Yeah. Has anybody got one of these dressing gowns? I've got one and they're absolutely gorgeous. So it rhymes. It's the who, not the how. Anyway... Be better, not easier. That is it. You think it's easy, right? If you concentrate on the easy, it's not... Concentrate on the better. Things are not easy. It's not easy being a clown every day, you know. It's not easy putting this smile on every day. No! But just concentrate on being better rather than the easy. Life is not easy. It's not easy whatever you do, but if you concentrate on just being better then you're more likely to make it easy. There we go. Anyway, I think I've done now. Concentrate on the who rather than the how. And I'm going to get to this Loobaloo Lounge. Yeah, I might need some of Bev's money from Santander, like. But I'm not concentrating on the how, I'm concentrating on the who. So, anyway, thank you all for checking in. I hope um, even if you just do one of those, you get that extra hour, yeah, back. Because... You're concentrating on doing those rather than, um, I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Hope you all have a good day. And um, just do at least one of those. You might have a, you, you might just have a better 2020. And I've got to stop keep tapping and I've got to uh, keep laughing. <laughs> Can't wait to be your bingo runner. Woo woo. Bingo tickets are coming on sale tomorrow, 7th of February. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, limited tickets. Uh, we're going to have so much fun, so many prizes. And yeah, we're going to have stand-up bingo for the adults. There's food. We're going to have food for the adults, food for the kids. It's going to be a fun night. We're going to be dancing on those. I wonder if um, Overholton Conservative will let us dance on the tables. I don't think they will. Might let me dance on a, on a stool or something. So we're going to have cool music in there. And yeah, you've inspired me to do my goals tonight. Good! Just do it. Paula, don't do it tonight. You're doing it again. Don't do it tonight. Just go and get a pen now and do it. What are you doing now? What's so important? You're procrastinating. Do it now. I've got goals. Do you want me to show you my goals? You're having it. They're already here on my table. Yeah? 2020, you're having it. Pink and Purple Festival. Paula
pop-up parties every month. It's already having it. Yeah, Magic Word Company. Let me know if you want a Magic Word party at your house because I've got loads and loads of events coming up for my Magic Word bracelet. So I need to practice and do a presentation. Hi, Chris. We're just checking off now. You'll have to watch it again. You might be inspired by my, my, my inspirational speech, what I've just done. Um, yeah, so let me know if you want a, a Magic Word party at your house because I need to practice because I've got an event coming up at the Four Sisters Distillery where we're having a night where we play games, we drink gin and we work out your word so that's coming up on the um what day is that the 27th of february that's a thursday um so i need to practice before then so if anybody's up for having a magic word party at their house yeah oh we could do it at your hairdressers michelle i'm seeing you tonight can't wait can't wait for a sunday roast after my busy day working and being up early Right, it. I'll bring me 20 ways for you. I'll bring you that. You can have that, Michelle. Yeah. Ooh, my mum said she will be there drinking gin. Yeah, come, Four Sisters Distillery. We're having a magic word evening. The tickets are coming on sale for those soon. Me goals. I hope you're writing your goals now, Paula, instead of polishing. Polishing. She loves polishing. Pop sockets. I want my own pop sockets on my phone. Do you know the... um. The things what you kind of hold your phone with. Yeah, any ideas would be great what I can have on there. Something what will make you laugh when you take a photo. Chris, let me know if you've got any ideas for that because you're good like that. Chris did all my videos for my pop-up parties and they're amazing. If you've not seen them, go and watch them on my YouTube channel. So I wanted an idea for the pop sockets, yeah. Louie Blue t-shirts or jumpers. Shalina, we need to meet. I want my own jumper. Let me know if there's any sayings what can go on the jumper. Anything what makes you smile. I like saying and be your magical self so i don't know if that's going to go on the jumper yet martha's got um, a miranda jumper i love it martha will you put that on today it makes me smile she's got um it's such fun being me and it is martha world it is another world miles it's such good fun being you i'm supposed to be signing off new saxophone song if you go in my kitchen my friend jessica she is learning me akuma matata my goal for my pink and purple festival is to learn brown eyed girl do you think i can do it of course i can yeah home delivery service boom that wants to go i want that to go boom yeah i love it it's my favorite thing it's so special knocking on somebody's door with uh, a Luba Lou doll, what looks like I'm delivering a pizza. Yeah, so they're my goals, Paula. I hope you're writing your goals as we speak. I hope you're now, rather than doing it tonight, doing it now. There we go. Anyway, I'm signing off. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Toodles.